Most gardeners honestly dread clay soil. It's heavy, sticky when wet, rock hard when dry, and, well, it practically dares you to grow anything worthwhile. You dig, and your shovel hits a brick. You water, and the surface just stays soggy while the roots unfortunately suffocate. But what if I told you there's a way to crack open clay soil naturally, without tilling, without backbreaking labor, and without sacrificing your growing space? What if the very plants you grow to eat could also rebuild the ground beneath them, turning compacted clay into a rich loamy haven teeming with microbes and moisture? This is the untold story of edible cover crops. These aren't just garden fillers or green manure, these are hard-working, soil-shifting powerhouses, with deep roots that slice through compaction and foliage that feeds both the gardener and the ground. These crops are, honestly, the lazy gardener's secret weapon. So before you reach for that tiller or give up on a stubborn bed, stay with me. Because in the next few minutes you'll discover how daikon radish fenugreek pigeon pea and other underused plants can do what compost and mulch alone just cannot, heal your clay from the inside out. Clay holds nutrients better than sandy soil, but its tight structure blocks airflow, slows drainage, and makes root expansion nearly impossible. When you pile compost or mulch on top, you're feeding the surface. But the compaction deeper down remains untouched. That's where these edible cover crops shine. Their roots dive deep, not just into the soft upper layer but into the hard pan itself, cracking, aerating, and opening channels that worms and water can follow. Above ground they generate biomass and provide edible leaves, pods, or roots. Below ground they engineer the future of your soil. Daikon radish is more than a crunchy salad topper. In tough soil its taproot drills down like a biological jackhammer sometimes reaching over a foot in length. As it grows, it fractures compacted layers, creating vertical tunnels that persist even after the radish decomposes. These pathways make it easier for future roots to explore, while also allowing air and water to move freely underground. But daikon doesn't just break soil, it builds it. As the plant decays, it releases sugars that feed soil microbes, and leaves behind organic matter that softens texture. You can harvest some for yourself while leaving others in the ground to rot naturally. Letting a few stay in the bed ensures the soil gets the full benefit. And if you mulch over the rotting roots, worms will swarm the site, accelerating humus formation right where you need it most. You know, often seen only as a culinary herb, Fenugreek is actually a fast-growing legume that transforms garden beds from the surface all the way down. In heavy clay soil, its fibrous root system creates a web of fine tunnels that, well, gently loosen the upper layers. This really helps improve water infiltration and makes it so much easier for future crops to root deeply. But fenugreek offers more than just texture adjustment. As a nitrogen fixer, it partners with soil bacteria to draw nitrogen from the air and store it in root nodules. When the plant is cut down and turned into the bed, or simply left to decompose, it basically becomes a slow-release fertilizer factory. Better yet, its tender leaves are edible and nutritious, making it a dual-purpose crop for gardeners who want to grow both food and fertility in the same space. You know, pigeon pea is often overlooked in temperate gardens, but Honestly, it deserves far more attention. This deep-rooted legume not only survives in poor clay soil, it actually thrives in it. Its taproot pushes deep into those hard layers, and at the same time its woody structure stabilizes the soil surface and shades out competing weeds. What makes pigeon pea exceptional is really its long-term presence. While a lot of cover crops are seasonal, Pigeon pea can actually persist for years if you manage it correctly. Its leaf drop and root dieback contribute steady organic material to the soil, and its flowers attract pollinators. It produces protein-rich edible peas and leaves that can be used in compost teas or as mulch, and like fenugreek, it fixes nitrogen, turning the toughest corners of your garden into living fertilizer factories.
In hot, compacted gardens where almost nothing thrives, cow pee and lab lab step in with vigor. Both are legumes with aggressive root systems and edible pods. They grow quickly in summer, shading the soil to reduce surface crusting and erosion while their roots break into dense clay to build the foundation for fall crops. Lab Lab in particular develops thick, meaty roots and sprawling vines that cover large areas. As the plant matures, it accumulates biomass that can be chopped and dropped as green mulch, or you know, dug lightly into the topsoil. The result is a blanket of nutrition and structure that stays long after the harvest. Even if you don't harvest every pod, the soil will thank you. To maximize the soil building potential of these edible cover crops, timing is everything. Plant them during your off-season or between main crops. Let the roots do their underground work for at least six to eight weeks. Then either harvest and compost the tops or chop and drop in place. Leave the roots in the ground, they're more valuable there than anywhere else. As those roots rot, they don't just disappear, they feed microbes, attract worms, and leave behind air pockets that turn clay into loam. When layered with mulch or paired with compost tea, this system becomes self-sustaining, especially if you rotate or mix different cover crops in the same area. What makes edible cover crops such a game-changer is that they align perfectly with the principles of no-dig, regenerative gardening. Instead of disturbing the soil with tools, you're empowering plants to restructure it from within. These crops don't just survive in clay, they fix it. And while they're working underground, they're also feeding your family, supporting pollinators, and setting the stage for future harvests. Even if you're starting with soil that looks more like pottery clay than garden bed, there's hope. Daikon, fenugreek, pigeon pea, lablab, they all take the pressure off your shovel and put the healing power in the hands of nature. And once your soil begins to breathe again, every crop you grow afterward will flourish faster and stronger. If this guide helped open your eyes to the hidden potential of edible cover crops, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your fellow gardeners, comment below with your own experiences, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next lazy genius trick to revive your garden. At Hydro Haven, we're all about smarter soil, simpler methods, and harvests that keep getting better, no matter how tough your soil looks today.